and I mean a lot of my costume jewelry being posted. In fact, I am thinking of just letting uh, the majority of it go. Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to share with you my entire Chanel jewelry collection and that way I'm gonna have a proper goodbye with them. I have two trays, mainly two trays of um, costume jewelry. I never store them in their original boxes. This is my only pearl necklace. I like that it's so long. It's really really long so you can double up like I just did right now or you can also do more of a triple wear. I love that it has these um, CC's throughout and also um, it has some of these crystals with the Chanel branding on it. So it's throughout the whole the whole necklace. Such a great statement piece and pearls and Chanel is always very 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 signature. You can do you can do triple wear for sure with this one. You can do a triple um, like that. So that's my pearl necklace that is likely gonna stay in my collection. The other pearl necklace that is also gonna stay in my collection, you can adjust the length um, it's one of those special pieces that I know there's no way I'm gonna let it go um, because it's so incredibly cute. Uh, it's very signature and so this is the reason why this is also one that will stay in my collection. The pearls on Chanel necklaces, by the way, are not real. They're all still synthetic, but they're very, very nicely made for, you know how their costume jewelries are. They're very, very beautiful. Uh, but you still have to take very good care of them. So before I remove my, actually I'm still, I'm just gonna remove one side. So these are just some of my fine jewelry that I always grab and these are from Ideal. You can wear them like this, like a little round earring, like a crest, or you can wear them behind, just like I did right here. Um, and they're really fun because of the different add-ons that you can get to play with. So another pair of earrings that I'm likely going to keep. Oh, actually, no, let me show you. Let me show you the actual set that I'm, I'm for sure keeping. Uh, so it's the set that goes with these pearls. So, so far, the two pearl, uh, the long pearl and this one are most likely going to stay in my collection. But as you see with these ones, they bring a whole other statement but still very like it, it's not so in your face they're very just cute and and very chanel i love the color white it brightens my face up so that's why these are staying um and that's the how they look i really do highly recommend that you get these like even if you want to keep a small ish collection of costume jewelry like I am right now, I still think that these are great to have because they're very incredibly cute. So incredibly cute. Yeah. So these I absolutely love. Uh, never intended to let, let them go anyway. On the other hand, however, because like I said in my previous video, I really did not need to buy so many heart earrings. I also have these ones. And I also have these ones and I kind of, I went a little overboard. Did I really need all of them? No. This one. Um, which is why these ones are going to be on sale. Super cute. They're very, very cute. definitely collector's pieces if you um, are into hearts and Chanel and hearts are a big thing. Uh, they're still doing hearts even as of the current season um, except their current season ones are just like hello way overpriced. These ones you can always grab them in the store when they have stock. It's not always the case um, but I, I am keeping these ones because I, I love that they're silver and I love that um, for a pair of Chanel earrings that are 
still very statement but not over the top i really like these so i am keeping these ones so my collection will be drastically reduced but i'm still keeping some of my most stunning ones that um i simply cannot get enough of so let me see if i can get it to stay just for the thumbnail but yeah these ones are absolutely stunning i think you guys see why i am keeping these ones they're very very stunning these are also classic cc's they're the studs versions uh, they're really beautiful because they have the kind of like the uh, multicolored studs, but they're also different shapes. So some of them are princess cut, some of them are more of that round brilliant cut. Um, obviously, these are just crystals, they're not diamonds. I find that every time I go and look at the jewelry tray that Chanel has, they never have the classic ones in stock anyway. I'm not sure if it's because they're producing them less, or if they're just churning out all the seasonal pieces since the seasonal pieces tend to be priced so incredibly high now so i don't know if they're just maybe not producing them as much also another classic very very beautiful necklace more casual so technically they're easier to style given the fact that i am uh, dressing more simple these days but i also have this stack of fine jewelry that i wear basically constantly. I am finding harder to to wear my costume jewelry necklace. But yeah, this one is a really, really stunning one. This one is a classic as well, meaning that they do repeat these styles. This is also a repeat style that they do now, but they never are in stock ever anyway. So I'm not sure why, what is going on with that. Um, but yeah, this is another heart. <laughs> part of the heart collection that I went a little crazy for. Uh, they're very cute, as you can see, and there's two lengths on these ones. The second tray, um, I have literally all the biggest pieces here. And these ones are incredible collector's pieces. Am I still gonna let them go? Yes. Am I crazy? Maybe a little bit, but I am moving on. It's time to move on. So this, beautiful choker can you guys see it i don't know if you can see it it's like this I should probably put it lower so this one is a double stranded it has pearls the signature um intertwined leather chain and a medallion sort of like a crest medallion and sort of like a brooch crystal brooch thing um as a centerpiece and it's totally adjustable resembles more like a classic one because you've got the pearls you've got the leather chain and it's just it's just gorgeous you guys are gonna flip out on this one this one <laughs> so these ones are the absolute absolute collectibles they are the 20 is it 20a i think it's the 20a collection very 90s vibe like I find them a bit heavy on the heavy side obviously because it is a big earring um, also because I've described this many times in the past so those of you who um, might have the same issue as me do you see the stem on this one like the it's a bit graduated so it goes from the thinnest part to the thickest part in the middle and that apparently for a lot of people is not an issue but if you do have a very sensitive ear some people just have very tight skin like my skin no matter how long i wear a heavy earring it's not going to stretch out it doesn't stretch out it's just one of those skins that like to like just bounce back Maybe it's a good thing, but at the same time, it's incredibly painful to put on earrings that are heavier and that have a thicker stem. So um, that alone for me is enough to sort of just say goodbye. I, I loved you. I loved having you as part of my collection, but it's time to say goodbye. So 
similar to those ones these are also crazy va va boom they do still get a bit heavy not as heavy as those other ones but they are still chunky right they're very chunky they're signature they are big <laughs> by no means are they by no means are they quiet at all <laughs> so <laughs> oh but they look amazing they look amazing casual um so for a minute i was hesitating on letting these go but i think you see the contrast between this kind of gold on me and the silver i think silver is just a better color the very coveted 19s chanel these are absolutely insane when they came out um i had both pairs Maybe I should put both of them on because otherwise you don't know how they look like. Here you go. This is my other side. I have two add-ons on this one. I have this other tiny one that's really cute and I have this one in the back. So love these cute earrings. Um, but with this one, however, I like that they're light gold because light gold is more similar to silver and I find them a little bit more versatile on me. So this is how these look. They're absolutely gorgeous. What's making the decision a little bit easier for me again is because these have the slightly graduated pose. So you see how like they go from thin to thick. And like I said, a lot of you are gonna be like, what, what are you talking about? Is that an issue? Like, no, it's not an issue for most of you, but for me, because I have such tight skin, um, it just, feels like i'm getting stretched so much and these are another pair of stunning 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 long earrings these are the pearl these are actually classics as well yeah but lately i haven't seen it and i do you guys see the difference like between a light gold color like this and something like this this kind of color just suits my skin tone a lot more. And even if I were to like put this one, it's not that it looks bad, but it's very 90s for sure. And I think my style being a little bit more simple nowadays, um, even if they're chunkier and more statement, I still want them to stay a bit more, s s bit more simple. Uh, like this one to me is still quite simple. Actually, it, it is simple because it's just, little dangly earrings they're not so loud uh, and I like that about it I might keep these ones I don't know I'll see I'm sure if you watch some of my older collection videos you're gonna realize that I did cut down a lot and that is totally good I I am really happy that it's sort of just progressing slowly like every year I cut down actually that's not true only last year I cut down kind of quite a few pieces and this year I've decided to do it further um, and I definitely want to concentrate um, more on fine jewelry. With fine jewelry, I add them way slower because I used to buy at least a piece of costume jewelry every single season. So there's six seasons in a year. So in on average, I buy at least six earrings a year, which can add up so quickly. But now I feel like instead of adding six pair of earrings, I should maybe buy one or none. It doesn't mean that I won't buy them anymore, but I'm gonna try not to buy so many of them or if at all, because I wanna concentrate on putting that money towards fine jewelry instead. I'll put other collection video on the screen right here that you may be interested. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.